On our education visit to Friend School Bokoli, school found in Mungoma County, we witnessed first-hand crucial role that education partners play in implementing Kenya's education strategy. Under the senior principal, Mr. Namsinde Msonye, the school has made a great move in all fields of learning as it was directed by the Minister of Education. Uh, my name is Msonye Marcelaz uh, Namsinde, uh, the senior principal uh, Friends School uh, Bokoli. Uh, Friends School Bokoli is uh, located in uh, Mungoma County, uh, Webuye West sub-county. Uh, Bokoli Zone. Uh, it is a school that has a total population of uh, students of 1,260. It is an extra county school and it is full uh, boarding. It is also an, a school that has also been uh, identified nationally to be amongst those schools that will host a sports academy, uh, which will be very good, especially now that CBC uh, is coming up. I want to say that um, Friends School Bokoli is on the upward trend in academics. We are uh, moving up very steadily. And I think um, the last case you see we were position three within this sub county. And uh, within the county we were position eight, 18 overall. Amongst the boys schools uh, alone within Bungoma County we were position eight. And I think we intend to continue uh, performing very well and improving. We have also a very good relationship with all stakeholders, including our parents, the political arm. All the groups are working very well with the, this particular school, and that's why we have also received a lot of support from a number of uh, those teams, be it CDF and others, to support our learners, especially when it comes to issues of uh, Peace. According to the principal, the school is well prepared in implementing the new curriculum CBC as it has enough facilities to accommodate the double entry of junior and former students. Now that CBC is coming, we need more infrastructure in terms of uh, dormitories. We also need more infrastructure in terms of classes. The school is also undergoing, uh, it, it is actually putting up a number of uh, projects that are ongoing. Uh, one of the main projects that is ongoing is the modern ICT and library hall. It is ongoing. Uh, we also have uh, our laboratories which we did renovation and I think we are moving on once we complete them I think they will also play a very important role in assisting in the area of science. School Bokol has invested in pigger farming, which has earned the school income. Uh, this school is also involved in a number of income generating activities, but one that is very crucial is uh, a pigger unit that we run and it has high quality breeds. We have been able to give a number of members and they have established farms using uh, these Bokoli uh, pigs. The quality is very good. We also occasionally supply to farmers choice. At present we have uh, over 200 pigs and piglets and I think the multiplication is going on and the project is also supporting the school in quite a number of uh, 
ways. We have large weight and land rest and two rock. Durok is the one you have seen flowered. Anyone can try to have a such a project like this one. He or she will make it. Kitu kwa sababu i ukiwa na gurwe. It is only three months. After three months, he kwa served. After served, then it achukua only 115 days. Then he inasa. The school also runs a school canteen, which is also income generating. We have uh, some fish bond, which we shall be replenishing soon, so that we also have tilapia available, not just for the learners, but also sometimes for, for sale. So to me, I want to say this is a school to be. The population is very, dis the students are very disciplined. The teachers are hard working and also very disciplined and focused. We are caring. We have a very conducive environment for learning. It is close to the road. At Bokoli Market, it is just a few meters and the school is very much accessible. For Prime News Education segment, I'm Philip Simi.